Hi, welcome to Moss Cooking Channels. Today we are going to make a buttercup squash curry. A lot of people use pumpkin, but I prefer the buttercups because it's more sweet and it tastes a lot better. And also I'm going to show you how to make the curry sauce first. Here's all the ingredients for the curry sauce. Curry paste, Thai ginger, oil, fish sauce, sugar, and lemongrass. Heat your oil until oil gets a little bit hot before you start cooking. Now you can put the lemongrass and the Thai ginger first. Then you can add a curry paste. Add sugar, stir until all mixed. Then you can add a fish sauce. Now you add a fish sauce and just stir until all mixed together, until everything mixed together and start to dry then you can take it out. So now it's ready, you just take it out and put it in a bowl and set aside. So here's the chicken thigh. I use chicken thigh. I like it chicken thigh better because it's not um, too dry. But we have to trim all the fat off first. Now we can peel all the carrots. And after we're done peeling, we can just chop into small pieces. And then bamboo shoot. You can use any kind of bamboo shoot um, from the store, but I'm using this kind because this is what I have. So now here's all the ingredients that we're going to cook for the chicken curry. Chicken, buttercup squash, water, coconut milk, carrots, and bamboo shoot. So now we don't have to put any oil in the pan. You can just put the chicken, keep cooking until the chicken is firm. And it's halfway cooked, then we can start adding coconut milk. Now it's ready to add coconut milk. Just stir until the coconut milk gets thick. And then you can add water to it. Now you can add a curry sauce that you made earlier. This dish is enough for at least two to four people. Now you keep cooking the carrots until it's tender and then you can add a buttercup squash last. Now 
Now after you have the buttercup squash, just let it cook for a little bit before you take it out. So now the curry is all done. It looks very delicious. So that's it for today. I hope you like this recipe and this video. If you do, please hit the like button below. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Also hit the notification so you will be notified when I post my next video. Thank you very much.